board unveils the F-150 Lightning Pro SSV designed for police. That's our text donation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Ford is police brand marketing manager, Greg Ebel. Hi, Greg. Hi there, Fred. Thanks for having me on today. It's a pleasure. Well, Ford has a long, long history of building vehicles for police use with a, a customer list, I think, of more than 12,000 departments across the country. Tell us what the F-150 Lightning Pro SSV is going to bring to the table. Right, absolutely. Yeah, thanks. And we couldn't be more excited today to right announce the for for 2023 model year, uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning Pro, a special service vehicle for law enforcement. So it's America's first all electric truck that's been purpose built for law enforcement. And um, it's something that our customers have been asking for, you know, how do we start this transition? And, th and this is kind of our first step in the, in the, in the migration to, but, but to all electric vehicles. And what's great about this truck is it combines kind of the best of both worlds. So it combines the benefits of an all electric powertrain and, and our customers will be um, seeing the great benefits of a, of, a, of a reduced total cost of ownership, you know, fuel, you know, the price of fuel compared to the price of a, of a kilowatt hour of electricity, that's huge savings there, reduced maintenance costs, and it provides our customers with, with improved uptime, right, you know, so, so their uh, other cruisers are out there and they're, they're, they're better at protecting and serving our customer, or excuse me, what the communities are rather. But not only that, we have a lot of great purpose-built content with the vehicle. We have um, uh, some police great heavy duty cloth, you know, front seats, right? This this is their office. They're in the they're in these vehicles for eight, 10, you know, 12 hour shifts. So really heavy duty seats are seats to add comfort, you know, reduce bolsters for easy ingress, egress while wearing a full duty belt. Um, some additional content, you know, we have exterior, you know, red, blue lighting that works obviously for the application. So all in all, uh, very excited to introduce this, and we ex we expect a very a very strong response uh, from our customers with this product, Brent. Oh, I think you you read that these aren't designed uh, to be out uh, chasing uh, other vehicles. What are the typical use case scenarios for vehicles like this? Yeah, so so that's a good point. So seeing that this is it's not a pursuit rated vehicle, it's a special service vehicle, but. But, but it's our first step. So a lot of agencies are just, you know, starting to dip their toes in the water um, to understand, you know, how can I start piloting, you know, all electric vehicles, you know, start integrating this, you know, start slowly into my fleet. So, so in this case, if you're, if you're towing, you know, mobile command center, or if you want to use this, you know, just to test out maybe some traffic enforcement, kind of things like that, that doesn't require the, the, the long range, you know, high speed of sustained, you know, driving, you know, for, for, for the pursuit capability. So still, it's going gonna, it's gonna to offer um, a lot for our customers, right? Our extended range battery, it's, you know, EPA estimate rating, rating of 320 miles. So very, very robust um, in that regard. And the agencies can still upfit this as, as they typically would, you know, lights, radios, you know, onboard equipment, just to really understand, you know, how this is going to work, you know, how they're going to work, work through the charging scenarios. And that's, that's kind of where... Um, you know, we're not just, you know, we're not selling vehicles anymore. Ford, Ford Pro, um, as we're, as we're called now, is, you know, we're a one-stop shop, you know, a suite of services. So not only the vehicles, we have, we have a Ford Pro, a dedicated charging team to, you know, assist our customers with, with charging hardware, you know, software solutions, you know, you know, help them along with, you know, does it make sense for me to have, you know, at home charging, you know, utilize public charging, uh, with this depot charging. So a lot of those sorts of things, you know, we have telematics that allows, you know, fleet managers to, right, to purposely, you know, put in charging events. So they know, okay, I need to, I need to charge now for, for 20, 30 minutes, what have you. So we're working with our customers at every, every step of the way. And we think, you know, our overall offerings for our customers are going to really help in this transition to all electric vehicles within law enforcement. Really interesting. And I, I would think that, say, in a traffic scenario where an, an officer or officers are, are need to be parked someplace for, for a long period of time, perhaps, that the uh, not running the uh, an engine, uh, traditional uh, uh, combustion engine, would have advantages. There's no right. pollution going out and the interior of the vehicle is very comfortable, et cetera. Right, right. And, th and that's a great point. So a lot of agencies, right, are under pressure, you know, they, 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 they need to go green, you know, you know, obviously, 
um, of, of the emissions, you know, zero emissions, that's a huge thing, especially for law enforcement. I mean, they're idling long hours, you know, sometimes, you know, 60 plus percent of their, of their shift um, is, is sitting there idling, whether it's filming reports, whether it's, you know, do, doing traffic patrol. So yeah, this vehicle does work very, very well for those situations, but Right, the all-electric vehicle in itself, I'm, I mean, the acceleration is great. So if it's if it's traffic enforcement local in the area, right, that's going to be huge with 775, you know, pound feet of torque. I mean, very very robust. But still, if you're going to be towing this, this truck is very capable. So max towing of 10,000 pounds. So so across the board, it, I mean, like I said earlier, it really combines, you know, the the best of both worlds and. Right, we're we're finally realizing that you know all electric vehicle, you know, you're not you're not trading off things. Actually, you're you're getting more across the board. So, um, we we have some agencies that have already you know started to pilot you know pilot retail vehicles. So we think you know launching this first you know purpose built SSV for our customers is 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 really going to be great. So tell us about uh, availability and do you talk about pricing with this? It's not the same as with consumers, I guess. Yeah, we, we, that's, you know, pricing and availability is, is going to come at a later date. So we'll, we will be getting into that um, here, here at some time in the future. But, you know, today we just wanted to announce that this is, this is great. You know, this is great coming. So the first, again, the, you know, first all electric truck that's been purpose built, you know, for, for law enforcement. So, you know, while we explore the future, you know, we're looking at, you know, where do we go from here? You know, we're, we're exploring options. Of for of for future, you know, purpose built ball ball electric vehicles, but 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 for now, yeah, super super excited here to really you know take our take our first step with our customers to really you know, start integrating all electric vehicles into into other police fleets. Well, I hear what you're saying there that uh, this is really just the start. There's a whole lot more to come when it comes to EVs in this category. Right, right, right. Exactly. We're we're we're, we're just scratching the surface and. Right with law enforcement, I mean they're they're very risk adverse, right? They want to make sure that, right, this is going to work for me. I can't just do it because you know the industry is doing it. It has to make sense. So, um, and this is this is our first step, and as you mentioned, so we're going to be working very very closely with our customers, and I'm sure we're going to learn a lot of things. You know, you know what are the pain points, right? What are the things we can look out for as we as we explore and design you know future products. So. We expect a, a, lo- a lot of a lot of great feedback, but we know that you know this vehicle, you know all electric vehicles as a whole, you know can can work for law enforcement. We had a we had a Mustang Mach-E police pilot program last year that proved that you know, with Michigan State police testing. So this is this is our follow up to that, and uh, and and it's part of our overall you know Ford's you know fifty billion dollar billion dollar investment, our commitment to electrification you know through twenty twenty six. So so across the board. Right, we want to be leaders in this space, and this is this is a big step for us with, within within law enforcement. Is there a place to go for more information, Greg? Okay, so so for more information, um, I would say go to FordPoliceVehicles.com. Uh, we have additional information on the on the on the all new SSV product, a uh, Lightning SSV. Um, a lot of more information, images, you know, additional feature content on the website as well. Terrific. Greg Ebel, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate having me on.